Hey Calibrate Tools family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to cut metal with fire. I pulled a guy named Jim out of retirement to show us how to use an oxyacetylene torch to do this. So stick around and I'll see you right after this. <music> This is the volatile side of um, oxyacetylene. It's the, uh, the propellant for the flame. So what you want to do is you do not want to open this all the way. You only want to open it up a quarter turn because if something happens, you blow a hole in your uh, hose or something breaks, you don't want to have to stand there and crank too much on your shutoff valve while it's burning the house down. So you only want like a quarter of a turn. This, you open up all the way like um, your MIG bottles and TIG bottles, okay? Now, this gauge shows the pressure on the tank, just like this one does. This one's almost out. So what you do is for cutting, I was always taught 40, you pull the regulator up, this puts pressure to the hose. So I was always told to put 40 on here and six on the acetylene. So on the flow gauge is six, right? Yes. And the flow gauge is 40 here? Yes. Okay. And this is the acetylene? Yes. And this is? Oxygen. The oxygen. All right. Then, now what you do is you try to keep both pair of glasses on while you're working in my case. Get your boxing gloves on. <laughs> Am I cool right here or should I move, Jim? Uh, well, we'll see. How's that? <laughs> I like that. Okay. Up in, up in flames. Yeah. This is the flame part. This is the acetylene, so what you do, you bring it just, just before it comes off, when you bring this down, like this, leave this alone. Oh, and when you uh, have this on, you open this up all the way and use this as the on-off. This is the on, on and off valves here. So you turn this on, you light it, and then you get it adjusted and then you pull this down. So it's just even with the end. And there's no no carburizing flame on it. So in other words, it's not like this. Do that, pull down that right there. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here. We're going to cut this this part right here. So I put my arm here in steady fashion so that I can move it all around like this. And you take the edge of it and you put the edge, the end of the flame right there. Turn it on. That will go inside. What you have to do here, you have to heat it. You have to heat it real good or else it'll pop back at you. And then there's even the chance it might. The metal. You gotta heat it, heat it, heat it so it gets molten all the way through.
Okay, here we go. I haven't cut in about four years when it shows. Same thing again, we're gonna round this off. Supposed to keep the end of the torch right on the top of the plate, which I haven't been doing, but. The biggest plate I ever cut was two inch for the bevel on. Then I had to weld it all up. <laughs> two inch plate. That is by hand. You know, cut it by hand, like this. Now the rocking back and forth is just to get a wider. I'm, I'm just. Yes, I'm, I'm not rocking back and forth, I'm circling, circling. Yes. Yeah. yes. Just to get away from the Yes. First grader. Both come out. Okay, see that? That was flag that I blew into. Yeah. Blew out the end, end of it right here. Yeah. See that? See how it blew out? Flag? Yeah. Okay. okay, then you shut oxygen off first, then acetylene. I was working when I was an apprentice at a Pacific Telephone building, and the electricians had a power uh, shut off and they were working on a 480 panel and we were all in the same room and I was using a rosebud which is this only I was using one of the bigger ones off of a Victor 300, uh, 300 and it's much bigger and so I forgot oh, that they were working in the panel or no they were working on a live panel that's right and I was using this thing, I lit it up and it puts a great big flame. And I shut 
I shut the settling off first and the head keeps a lot of residual heat. And so the acetylene flashed in there and it went kaboom. Those electricians jumped about 10 feet back. I'm telling you, they did everything but kick my, they were so pissed and rightly so. I mean, what, you thought you were dead, right? Okay, so to shut this down, uh, you don't want to leave pressure on your regulators because it, there's a diaphragm in here and it'll screw it up. So what you do is you turn the valves off on the tank, the supply to the torch, and then you watch this here. You open the settling valve, that side comes down, okay? The, uh, the pressure side to the torch. Same thing here. Turn on the oxygen. Okay, this one was, yeah. They'll both come down at the same time if you have this in. It's just like the MIG and the uh, um, TIG yep. uh, regulators. So yep. when you're done, what you do is you back it out until it's free. That way they'll last a whole lot longer. Your hoses? No, gauges. Because you're, if you leave it in, you're keeping the diaphragm in all Pressure. the time. Yeah. Okay. And it's not good for it. Okay guys, so that's how you cut metal with an oxyacetylene setup. But you can do other things like welding and brazing as well. So stick around for more of that content in the future. Hey guys, if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe button, share it with everybody you know, and I'll see you in the next one.